Hey guys, so there is an another maintenance administrator exam for Spring 21. So in that there are lots of new features are there. So first is the send mail with the rich text email in the flows. Second is the splitting view, uh, which is showing here in that way. Third is the dynamic forms which is a very interesting thing in this and uh, <coughs> this is the workaround we will do so let's start with hands on challenge so first of all i just downloaded that spreadsheet for creating that custom object whose api name is laptop warranty so spreadsheet uh, which is laptop warranty now I upload it into my environment so if I go to the setup and in the object manager I have seen that this option custom object from spreadsheet so I click on that login with salesforce login with my credentials Now I upload this laptop warranty CSV. Click on next. This is already filled in that one click on that finish. So let's uh, check to our all that this lack of warranty is available. This, okay, let's check the records of that lack of warranty. Yep, it's there. Now, next task is we have to upgrade that custom object page into that dynamic forms. So, the first point in this is first select uh, that tabs and change the format of the column from two columns to one column. So, <coughs> go to Get it here. No, click on that in that page. Uh, when we click on that edit page, when we click on that component, we have seen that message. So you have to upgrade that detail page. So I just upgrade it. Yes, that page lot I want to upgrade. Now it's upgraded now. So what we will do we have to change into that one column page so in the page column we have to change it to one column 
right? Now, the next point is move the active warranty fee to the to above the support level fee. So, in this, we have to move it to above the support level fee. Now, the next condition is. Uh, the support level field and the expiration date field to only appear when the active warranty field is checked. So we will go here. First, go to that expiration date. Uh, click on that add filter if active warranty field so click on active warranty is equals to true similarly uh, the expiration date and there is support level field support level field same thing we will do that active warranty is equal to true then this port is done hmm. click on that save activate On sign for desktop and phone. Mm -hmm. So this thing is done. So let's check our work. So look. The active warranty checkbox is unchecked. Now go to edit. Check this. Now you will see that support level and expiration date will go three from. Now it's seen in the layout. So now we will check our challenge oh it's done so thank you guys please subscribe my channel and like this video. Thank you. Mm -hmm.